Good morning, Newman Smith. I'm Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where our mission is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready without remediation. All right, scholars, let's start with our pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now our pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for our moment of silence. Thank you, and you may be seated. All right, happy Tuesday, everybody, December 5th. Today we begin our December EOC retake, so check your email from Ms. Leach to make sure you are where you're supposed to be if you are retaking the EOC or if you were absent last year. All right, welcome to Newsday with Dr. Joe, where we celebrate community and, cu and build culture right here at Newman Smith High School. Our word of the day today is eloquent. It's an adjective. It means having refined or expressive communication skills in speaking or writing. The sample sentence was, his speech was not only eloquent, but also extremely compelling. Our quote of the day is, today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. Today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. Big dreams and big goals are not overnight successes. A book by Malcolm Gladwell talks about 10,000 hours before people make it big. Did you know that the group The Beatles, which they're a, a famous rock group from a long time ago, they actually played 10,000 hours in small places before they hit it big. So um, everyone who's famous, no one starts no one starts today to be famous tomorrow. So start working on your 10,000 hours on your craft today. Well, speaking of hours, hours spent on their craft, our special guest today, and you're going to love him. I, I know you already do. But we're going to talk a little bit to our quarterback, Pearson Rougeau, and celebrate that he is the District 5-5A most valuable player out of all the football players in our district. So, Pearson, pull up a chair. Let's let's do this today show today today show style. Yes, ma'am. Were you surprised to get MVP of the entire district? Um, I was kind of I wouldn't say shocked, but I wasn't like I was trying to get first team all district this year. But, but to get MVP, like that's a step above. That was awesome, I guess. Um, I was just lost for words. I was like, I guess I worked for this all my life. All your life. That's what I was going to talk about. You have definitely put in 10,000 hours. I happen to know your father mm -hmm. and uh, have been able to have some time visiting with him. You have been working toward this for a long time. When did you start playing football and baseball? Because you're on our baseball team, too. Yes, ma'am. I started um, basketball when I was four years old, I believe. And then four? Football, I started at five. Yes, ma'am. Y'all, four and five. That is tiny. Tiny. <laughs> So you started playing, and then what have you done, though, here recently just to refine your skill and to really hone in on making sure that you are doing the things you need to do to be the most valuable player? Like, How many extra hours did that take outside of football? Um, just getting people to be committed, um, coming to the field in the summer, coming to the field after school hours and stuff. Uh, training. My dad's spending money on me to train. <laughs> just had to, Thanks, Dad. Yeah, I definitely had to just stay committed to it and have like a, a goal to get to. And well, what advice do you have for next year's Trojan football team? I definitely say uh, buying the Coach Boone. Y'all keep listening to him. He's going to get y'all right. And listen to this fabulous lady right here. Oh, listen, Pearson. Nice. Now, Pearson, how many coins do you have? How many principal coins? A bunch. I have two, I believe. Two. Well, this is going to get you a third one because this is a huge feat to be the district's most valuable player. Thank you. Dad. Huge. Well, that's, it's, it's been a minute. Also, Pearson, help me celebrate your friends here. We've got Defensive Player of the Year, Jalen Moses. Offensive Newcomer of the Year, Max Mingo. Look at this first team all district. Chris Hughes, Alex McLean, Marcus Williams, Derek Burleson, Lewis Lee Jr., Davon Wallace, Mackinman Womble. And then second team all district, check this out. Isaiah Washington, Alex Segura, Angel Gonzalez, Scotty Brady, Karen Man uh, 
Kyron <laughs> Manning, Evan Acton, Elijah Harrison, Axel Lofstrand, and then honorable mentions Braylon Avery and J Jamel Jones. So, uh, congrats to these 20, 20. And this Thursday at the school board, we're going to be celebrating you guys at the school board meeting. I think the coach said that's the first time they have that many. This is the, that's what he told us. The yeah, first time he's had this many players get recognized. And that's, an, that's a tribute to your work. Well, Pearson, I just want to say on behalf of Newman Smith, it has been an honor to watch you fight on the field for us yes. every Friday night, to see you come out of all those tackles and <laughs> wheel around. I feel like I'm watching Dak Prescott, y'all. He just comes out of that and takes the ball home. Yes. But what an honor it's been and how proud we are of you. So we love you. We think you're great. Remember, character counts. And make it, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.